There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, you finally Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. We organized the beautiful, beautiful sunsets for you. Wow. Welcome. Giselle, welcome. <laughs> Make yourselves at home. Go through, help yourself. There's some uh, nice warm cloth for you there. Oh. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Jerry. Jerry Springer. Jerry. Miguel. Jerry Springer. Okay. Hi, Mr. Springer. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you can wipe Thank your hands you. and wipe your face. Ah. Miguel, Giselle, you guys. Welcome. You make Thank yourselves at home? You. Okay. Thank you very much, John. Really, really, Thank really. Thank you very much. And your travels have come to an end. I know you've done a long travel and you've been around and stuff and everything and you've been <laughs> waiting for that. Yeah, we were. But uh, that's it. Your travels have finally come to an end, right? Yes. So please yes. enjoy yourselves, make yourselves at home, anything we can do. Look at the bar we want for you here, huh? <laughs> you wanna get me drunk before start hunting or what? What's the no. deal here? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Do a good hunt, good safari, enjoy yourself. Thank you. Giselle, enjoy yourself. It's going Mario's to be a safe travel. good safari. Good to see you Mario. guys. Mario. And welcome. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew that? But uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, also say thank you to Alex Alejandro Campillo. For Ale Alejandro Campillo. Exactly. Yes, for Alex. Yeah. Let's call him Alex. That's easier. Thank you to Alex for recommending that you come to us, Miguel. She's up there. Okay. Uh -huh. She's up there. She's settling in. Here's your, here's your room here. Miguel, just so that you know. Thank you. Morning, Colonel. <laughs> He's a nice visitor. You think I'm gonna leave <laughs> from here? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you got to stay, huh? Thank you. Thank you very, very much, much John. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. you very much. <laughs> Mijo, estoy bien enfermo de COVID. Me estoy muriendo. <laughs> My boy. In okay. Arizona, yeah. It's still getting mile away. Can you tell us what what uh, what meat did we have? Yeah. Elon. Well done. Tender. Tender. Well, that was perfect. <laughs> Il uh, pronounce uh, Elon. What do you say? Elon. 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 <laughs> the biggest antelope. In Africa. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what's the and what the smallest? No. Dig 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 dig. dig. <laughs> <laughs> that's Mario. It's, it's dig, dig, right? Yeah. No, that no, that's it. That no, is that the way they pronounce it. That's the way they pronounce it. Dig dig. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the middle, eh? That's in the middle. Yeah. That's that center, right? Dead center. You nearly shot the rabbit there. Dead center. Dead center. Dead center. Dead center. Let's walk here, I want to show you. Martin can also film it a little bit. I'm going to just open the bolt. Did you see the rabbit running? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. I mean, look at that shooting there. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. That's it, yeah. That's, a, that's a little bit of jet lag. Yeah. First one. That, Here's the second one. This, Look at this it. is an excuse. Excuse. Warm up. The warm up, warm up. 
Can I be better? <laughs> Very good. Right here? Yeah. Right here. That's it. The quicker you can get to a rest, me, that's why I'm deaf. I always let the, the guy come on my shoulder. If I go down, I get him to tell me, hey, me on, you know. And when I see he's ready, I hold my breath and then he's bidding us and then shoot before I pass out, you see. <laughs> or if you don't have that one, you can find a big rock or a tree. Yeah. Oh. Michael, uh, Gazelle, here we are the first morning. And uh, yeah, we woke up and it was really closed up. We had a thunderstorm last night, which is great because anything now that we see or come across now is fresh. Um, on the way to the shooting range, we bumped into, into some buffalo there. Yes. <laughs> I, did, nice I did a little bit of a call and they came running to us there and uh, it was great that you saw that and you saw your first dangerous game, animal. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's a beautiful morning and uh, it started off great. Beautiful shooting there from the, from the bench, uh, two bullseyes. But yes, uh, here we are, first morning and enjoy it and anything we can do for you, whatever, does he let us know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, good. Let's get it. Got us lucky to see grass like this, eh, Martin? Yes. You see when a giraffe walks, it walks two left legs, two right legs, two left legs, two right legs. It doesn't walk left, right, left, right. Look, look, look two left legs, two right legs. So, how many vertebrae in that thing's neck? How many vertebrae? How many you think? Guess? Probably 40, 50. Huh? 100? 100. 40, 50. It's a mammal, only seven. All mammals only have seven vertebrae. Okay. Here's another one walking at the back there. Now a giraffe, is that when he goes to when he when he goes to <coughs> when he goes to drink water, a giraffe, mm -hmm. you walk any giraffe, female, bulls, anything. They, 
They're standing tall. So, I mean, how do they get down to the water there? Mm. So they have to open their legs, okay? But the minute, bless you, mm -hmm. the minute the minute he puts his head down or she puts her head down to drink water, the blood runs to the to the brain. And at 15 seconds, it, it drinks mm -hmm. and, and there's a valve there, a specially designed valve at the, at the back of the brain. And it shuts off. 15 seconds, it, it's got to flick its head up and to start the... The, the blood pumping around with the heart, wow. around the brain again, stands there, stands there, goes back down again and then drinks again. How does, so they open like their... Yeah, they just spread the legs out like it and they put their heads down to drink the water, yeah. Mm. yeah. Look underneath, look at the, ho look at the ho holes, the homes. Look at that. See that? Yes. It's, a, it's a, a little bird called a social weaver. So social, weaver. social weavers, yeah. And they build this nest all day and every day. They just go and they collect grass and they just keep packing it up. Uh -huh. And uh, as you can see, they live in a colony like that. They also make a, they also make a false uh, nest for snakes because the snakes get in here. And they try to come into the nest and then they see there's a, it, it doesn't go in and they're like, ah, and they give up, you know. Mm. Um, there's also, um, there, there's a lot of guys that study birds. Mm -hmm. And they came here and they, they took thermometers mm -hmm. and they put thermometers in this nest, mm -hmm. okay, to check the temperature for, for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. and, and in the evening, it's, it's like three to four degrees warmer when all the birds come back in the evening and then they sleep inside you, they make it warmer, you see. And there's, a, there's normally a little falcon, it's called a pygmy falcon, that lives, that lives with them. Pygmy falcon, small little falcon like that. Uh -huh. Now he, he will, if ever you find a, a, a hole like that, that's got a bit of white around it, that, that's where the falcon lives and that's his nest. But he, he will never eat the birds that he lives with. He'll go and catch birds out there. Yeah. That's rare. That's rare. And if ever you get lost in the bush and you're hungry and that, you must, and, you, and you find a nest like this, just come here in the evening. You'll get the eggs and you'll get the birds. It's a very, very good food source if you're lost and you're hungry. Okay. And a nest. Don't ever forget a nest. And most of the nests, uh, they're about this size? They also get bigger. Wow. They get much, much bigger. So if the nest is too big, then it breaks that branch. Mm. And then that whole nest will fall down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you must watch out. Don't, don't let it wee on you, eh? Oy, That's okay. Oy. Let him. Yeah, don't get it on you, though. Just let him wee. <laughs> okay. Is that pick, pick it up like that. I want to just see underneath the belly, uh, towards the camera. If you, if you have a look now, that 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 is a that is a. If you look here, you see that? That that's a male. See how it's like this. The female is completely round like that for the eggs to come out. It's called a leopard tortoise, huh? We're going to go for a little walk, look here. Zebra. It's, it's loaded on safe, okay? It's all ready to go. Walk right behind me.
springbok on the left here. Miguel, just hold that for me. It's about 300, okay? I'm gonna click it up. Okay. You, aim, you aim where you want to hit it. It's a, a common springbok, it's our national animal, the gazella, okay? The others are feeding. He's still standing looking around. I just want him to relax and when he turns broadside then we're gonna have a go at him, okay? Which one? Okay. Just come with me slowly here, yeah, I want to show you. There is the same. The one that's looking at us? The one looking at us, yeah. The one on the left. The one on the left. Yes. There's a, there's a female going to to go to going towards him. But he's looking at us, you see him? Yes. The one on the left. Yeah. I'm gonna set you up, yeah? Still looking at us, yeah? Look through your scope. Let's just make sure we don't hit this bush in front of us, eh? Yeah. You see the bush uh, right in front of us? Yeah, I know. Okay. If you look through the, if you look through the scope, I want you to see, look, you can see the very big horns. Yeah, I can see them. Yeah. Female is. That's right. Middle. There's a female there. You can put it off safe. Put it off safe. And then just have a look. Practice there a little bit. I'm going to crank it up for you a bit and see. Oh, they're Don't shoot, okay? No. We wait for him to be broadside, okay? Yeah. Oh. Here he turns. Wait for him. Yeah. Right okay. Oh, two. Carry your rifle. Let me just look. 300 meter. 300, huh? <laughs> your first African animal, huh? Yep. Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> look how opening up the pronk. That's what's called a pronk, eh? The pronk. The, the spring oh, okay. bug, yeah. He opens up the pronk and when he when he springs like that, that pronk's white. Oh, okay. And the rest the rest of him can follow him in the evening. That's our that's our national animal you got right here. That's uh as a tradition, as a tradition, <laughs> you get the blood. That's it. Your first African animal. <laughs> Looks like you've been in a bar fight. Yeah. Now I'm gonna be a, a butcher man, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you put your hat on. Give me your rifle. Put some blood on your hands. Put blood on your hands. And now we shake hands. Yeah, congratulations on your first African animal. Very well done, Michel. Michel, there we go. Nice afternoon. The sun is nice and bright, eh? We had uh, perfect, perfect <laughs> weather. Yeah, lots perfect of rain this weather. morning, though. Nice rain. and cool. Lots of mist and everything. But now it is crispy, crispy clear, and uh, we've seen a lot of game this afternoon, eh? Whoa, we put on some stalks on zebra, we've seen gemsbuck and herds. I, I will say thousands. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 A lot of the, lot of game have come out this afternoon. And what a beautiful, healthy animals. Yeah, all they all are. All. Look at the beautiful grass, and that's There's great. Plenty of food, plenty of food for the animals. That's perfect. We put a nice stalk on, we got behind that big thorn bush there. Yeah. And we waited there for a little while. The springbuck ram was watching, thought that he saw something. The rest of the herd settled down and they were feeding. And I said to you, get onto the sticks. And you got onto the sticks there. And I said to you, 300. And you were ready. And he started to turn to walk. And as he was walking, I whistled and he stopped. And poof, tip, one shot down he went. And you got your first African animal. One shot, one kill. One shot, one kill. <laughs> Well done. Well done, Michael. Excellent, man. Shooting. Well done there.
reload real. <laughs> just reload. Just, just reload and go on safe. Just reload and go on safe for me. Just get onto the sticks. Just be ready. Let's go forward. Good shot. Este es el antílope más grande de África, Eland. Ya se tomó tres disparos con 375, calibre 375 Magnum. Todavía está vivo. Se va a morir, pero esa es la fortaleza de estos animales. What a hell of a hunt, eh? Look at that thing. Look at this rough. Yes. Look at the rough. See the rough there? Wow. Look at the, the spiral horn. The size of the head. Yeah, there's four in Africa, huh? in South Africa. The eland, eland. the kudu, kudu, the nyala, nyala, and the bushbuck. Well done, Michel. You got the largest of the antelopes, and you got your first spiral horn. We're having a good afternoon, huh? Springbuck, the eland. Hey, Michel, an hour after we got our springbuck, huh? Yeah. We, we bumped into this big eland. Yes. And he took off, and we thought that he's gone. And we followed for about uh, 30 minutes. We were glassing, 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 and then Mario saw him standing three, four hundred yards away, just standing in some bush. And we put a hell of a nice stalk on, huh? And we were in amongst the thorns there and everything, and... Uh, we just got onto the onto the open of the put up I put up the sticks and as you got onto the shooting sticks like I that Elon stopped and he turned and he picked up his head and you were ready to go. Tell us what happened then. Well <laughs> <laughs> one shot and the bull went down. That's it. Not completely dead, but went down. Went down. Yeah. Yes. We we just put an insurance shot in. Insurance to, shot. Uh, that's it. For safety. And a beautiful bull. Yes, beautiful. Um, Got a really nice big cave, nice spiral horns, got some ivory tips, yeah. pitch black. It's a, when they get really old, they go that pitch black color. And it's a fantastic bull to take, and it couldn't have happened to a finer hunter. So congratulations. Miguel, well done, sir. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Good hunting today. Yeah. And uh, we still have about a half an hour of light left, and we're still about two hours from camp. So <laughs> let's load him up, just the three of us, four of us. <laughs> now, we got the recovery team coming. We can hear them. And the guys are going to help us load. It's a little bit different loading a springbuck to an oh, eland, oh, the, oh. the largest of the antelopes. Huh? Yeah. But uh, congratulations. Great shooting. Great shooting. Thank you. Perfect. This is an awesome day. Congratulations, eh? Yeah! Very nice. Excellent. <laughs> well done, Michel. Salud! Salud! <laughs> Cheers! My ears are so small, they never get burnt. <laughs> There's another you? movie about uh, uh, Bushman. It's kind of comic movie. Have you seen it? Two young Lechwe bulls coming down the hill there. Impala. 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 Lechwe. 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 Lechwe, yeah. Uh, the horns look like an Impala, right? China? But both of them are lechwe. Okay. Lechwe. Very yeah. similar co coloration to an impala. Okay. But, but the impala's got different horns and they don't have the black. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, Rich. Oh, yeah. That's uh, funny to have on the ear, like. But these ears are still good, huh? Yeah. These things are finished, huh? Oh, 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 oh. There's a bull let uh, uh, says to be this one. Now both male and female mm -hmm. have got horns, but the female's got thin horns, look. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is this is his herd, that's the that's the ram there, or the bull. And the only real way you can tell with a sesebi mm -hmm. is the thickness of the horns. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the females also go and they put their heads in the in the mud. And then they, they rub their horns in the mud like that. Uh -huh. And then it, it looks like he's a bull because he also has mud, you see. But it's a female. The only real way is that uh, is the penal shoot.
Beetje mijn zoete insecten, hè? Ja, kijk. Het is protein. If you're an insect eater, you're happy today, well. Look at them. <laughs> Welcome to Africa, yeah, John. They don't around there, they don't pass it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Ja, kijk hier die muggies. Yo! Ja, zeg. Protein. Yeah, we don't have to go back for lunch. Ja. 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 Plenty. <laughs> yeah, it is, is it? I thought I thought it's a flying ant, but it's not, eh? Mugis. Is it a flying ant? No. Yep. Michel is a is a lone bull. His skin is very very nice. Those big black old bulls. When you try to tan the skin, nine out of ten times that the hair falls out because it's it's too thick. But he's a lone bull. Um, the other group that we got, I think it was yesterday, huh? uh, that that's a breeding herd. We don't want to shoot into that. But the lone bulls, have, have a look and tell me if you if you like the coloration of your skin. I think it's nice. Safety on.
and again. Reload. One more. Oh, oh, down. On safe. Go on safe. Go on safe. Go on safe. That is a brilliant shot. Congratulations, Bueno. That was a, a nice stalk, huh? Be, be very careful, uh, just let him let him go, my, uh, Michel. That thing kick you in the balls, you're gonna know all about it. <laughs> Alex, I want you to speak to to Michel. Hi, Alex! I need you, Alex! That looks like it's done, huh, Michel? Look like a good the other way, the bullet. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Very good. Wow. Well done. Oh. Look at that, eh? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. They are primarily browsers. But they can reach right onto the top of the tree, obviously because they're tall, they've got the necks. So they can eat anything from the top of the tree right down to the bottom. Um, in, a, in a drought, you have to really, really watch that you don't have too many giraffe because what happens is that browse line is from the top of a tree all the way down to here. So they give a lot of the kudu and eland a lot of competition as well if you have too many giraffe. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. I touch it or not? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's, 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 it's you, dead you, now. No, it, it's, yeah. it's dead. Yeah, you're welcome. To, no problem. Oh, Just mind it. <laughs> 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 Uh, Michael, remember, I was also telling you about the tail. Yeah. This is this is elephant hair. That's elephant. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Feel it. Elephant. Very yeah. like wire, huh? The, the yeah. Feel it. It's wire. Yeah. <laughs> but now, if you want to work it like this, you have to put it into hot water like spaghetti. Then it goes soft. Okay. But a but a giraffe feel there. It's got mm -hmm. very very nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's thick. Delia, when you, you're asking about the, the conservation and that, um, mm -hmm. to, to, to explain it in a very, very basic way, huh? Mm -hmm. You know you get people that farm with cattle? Yeah. And you get people that farm with sheep? Yeah. Okay? We are game farmers. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same thing. Okay. Instead of herding the cattle and taking mm -hmm. them to the abattoir to slaughter them, or the sheep to the abattoir to slaughter them, mm -hmm so that we can eat and we can feed the people. Huh? We do the same thing with the game, but you can't herd them. You can to a certain degree, mm -hmm. if you've got too many of them and you want to cull them. But it's, it's hunting, okay? Mm -hmm. So we hunt the animals, which is the same as farming them. We know the carrying capacity of a farmer. A farmer knows how many cattle he can have in his area. Mm -hmm. So he protects the area mm -hmm. and he, he protects the, the grazing and it also depends on the rain. There's lots of elements that come oh. into conservation of cattle, of sheep, of game. Okay. But it's uh, all the same thing. You, you know what, what, mean, what game means? Game, no. animal. Wild, wild game. Wild, wild game. game. Wild game. Yes. All the species yeah. around this area, yeah. buffalo, giraffe, zebra, kudu, all 37 species are here, this game. Yeah. Okay. We've, we've got 36 okay. different species here. And some of them all compete against each other with the grazing. Mm -hmm. Like the cattle, the farmer that's got too many cattle, uh -huh. they, they're going to be standing, they're not going to be able to eat anything. What does he have to do? He has to feed them. Mm -hmm. We had a bad drought the last three years in this area. Mm -hmm. No rain. Mm -hmm. So when we see rain, yeah, it's hallelujah. And look how beautiful it is with that, the rain we've had. But when we haven't had the rain, mm -hmm. in the other area of ours, we've got nearly 300 rhino there. Mm -hmm. And this area never used to have any rhino. Why? Why was, why was the rhino then introduced to this area? Because an old rhino bull that wasn't breeding anymore, mm -hmm. your dad came and hunted a rhino, and he paid for that conservation of that rhino. So the money was used to buy a female, to buy another younger bull. And, and after, so after 25, 30 years, we have, we have 300 rhino in this area. Now you think the other way. This is a business, like everyone in the world. You think. He wants to animals disappear? Of course not. Yeah. I mean, that's, let's, 
Somebody's gonna see the video on YouTube. Oh, you know. Yeah. And the, the 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 most important thing also is with us, with us farming with game, like the cattle farmer. Mm -hmm. The cattle farmer's children, grandchildren, great grandchildren mm -hmm. are going to see this cattle. Mm -hmm. Richard has got no teeth left because he's an old guy, but his. Great, great <laughs> grandchildren. Yeah, I look they, at, they look go at to it. see all fucked up already. You know, it's they, they go to see lots of games. They, they get to see all the. They get to see the rhino. They get to see the. Come bus. on, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, it's the hunters and the, the hunters are the ones that pay for the conservation of this wildlife. Okay. And it's called it's it's called the conservation of wildlife through sustainable utilization, huh? mm -hmm. and the preservation of the hunter. Okay. People people that that don't like hunting, it's the, and and that's their own uh, that's their own uh, belief, okay? And they they more than welcome to 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 air their views about it. Yeah. Uh, they they give also. They conserve the game. They breed up with black rhino and they breed with lions, and they so that there will always be black rhino and there will always be lions and stuff. And those guys look after the animals, okay? But it's the anti-hunters. They don't understand. They put us in the same category as poachers. Poachers is a different thing. A poacher is going there to shoot an elephant, just leave the skin and the carcasses and the meat to, for the ivory, or they take the rhino horn. Mm -hmm. Because they believe in the rhino horn is has got magical powers, uh, whatever. Yeah. But uh, that that's the wrong. That's the wrong thing to put hunters in the same category as poachers. You know, mm, yeah. we have we have many local people in South Africa, and they like meat. Mm -hmm. They like impala meat. They like kudu, wildebeest, eland. They like giraffe meat, mm -hmm. just like they like cattle and they like, they like sheep. Beef. Like really like but they beef. don't like to go and always eat beef. So they come and they support us here. Yeah? By, mm -hmm. by shooting impala, there's too many impala. So we know at the end of every year, Marius, he does a game count, mm -hmm. and he sees, okay, yo, I've got too many giraffe. I can take off another two or three giraffe this year. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got, shoo, look, I've got 300 impala too many. Now we have to take mm -hmm. the impala off. And here comes Michael, and he takes the impala, and here comes the, the local meat hunters, and they take off, and they pay, yeah. and they pay, okay? It doesn't just mm -hmm. put bread and butter on our tables, it also helps us to protect these animals, mm -hmm. especially when there's a drought and there's no grass and we have to buy in feed to feed them. Mm -hmm. We go to all these water points that you saw. Water is always there. We can always supply them with water because it comes from underground. But food and salt, you see, you've seen the salt, yeah. we put the salt there. And when it's dry, we put the food out for them. Mm -hmm. That's why we always pray that the weather is good. Never have too many animals in the area, yeah. always have the right carrying capacity. Now, okay. can you imagine how much it costs to maintain thousands of animals when you don't that have rain for two yeah. or three years? No, I'm, not, I'm not talking yeah. about 500 cattle. I mean, thousands of animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, don't ever be... Don't ever be afraid to to stand up for your right and to stand up for your father's rights and for we we we're not murderers. What no no no, no, I, no, no, no I'm not I, saying I, it, I'm I, saying I, it. A lot of people think that. No. Then then they must come and look for themselves. Mm -hmm. Only once they've been here will they understand how it works. Yeah. How it really works and just how they haven't ever supported it. All they've supported it by is by slapping their gums and doing nothing about it. Yeah. You see. But I feel like a lot of people need that explanation too, because yeah. they just they just see something and then it's like, oh, but yeah. then but they don't know all yeah. the, like the logistics behind it. Yeah, it works on. the same with birds. A lot mm -hmm. of guys hunt birds, and and pigeons. If you didn't, if you didn't, and we just l let them be, and they and they impala bread here, yeah, and they ate everything. What's the kudu going to eat? What's the yeah. eland going to eat? Okay. What's the babies going to eat when they grow up? You see, uh -huh. so you have to manage your own area. You manage your area, you control the numbers, and you control the numbers by selling them live. We also sell live, eh? mm -hmm. and that's how we utilize our game. Good. <laughs> Miguel, well, when we first started planning the hunt, you sent me a information sheet, and on the information sheet you wanted to hunt a giraffe. Yes. And that we did today. Yes. And, uh, yeah, the last couple of days we've seen mm -hmm. a lot of giraffe. Eh? Yeah. Um, but it was nice to come across a lone bull. Yeah. And that's the one we wanted. And um, you'll be able to see on the video the great hunt, the great stalk that we had. 
and it was nice to have Gisele with us on the on the hunt as well, you know. <laughs> and another one shot kill, huh? Another one shot kill. One shot, uh, one kill. I'm sure Martin got uh, it. Far more is expensive here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, just one thing that I noticed now that I haven't told you is um, <clears throat> the female giraffe. The the hair grows over the horns. Uh -huh. It grows over it, and the male has got thicker horns, mm -hmm. and it goes bald, and that's from butting. Oh. They, they fight with each other and they, they butt each other, mm -hmm. so they, they, they take that hair away. You see, they knock the hair off when, they, uh -huh. when they're fighting for dominance. But that's one of the characteristics of the, of the giraffe also. But congratulations, sir. That was Johnny, very, very good. Thank well you done. very much. Nice to have you with us on the hunt. Well done, Giselle. Give Dad a big <laughs> hug. <laughs> <laughs>last time I saw him that far tree yes he was he was running there okay, okay. so we're gonna go pick up his tracks from there okay. just be ready huh how was your shot eh? good they they're very very tough animals very tough and uh, but it looked like a good shot
we've got the <coughs> we've got the tracks that's going that way. Old Richard's just going to bring me a rifle also, and then Richard will hold the track, and then we'll just follow into the wind. The wind is good for us. If if he's going to lay down, hopefully he's injured enough that if he jumps up, he's close enough that we can get another shot into him. Try it. Very spread out. Come out, okay. come out. No, no, not that. No, I know. Okay, one is when I come out. When I come out. Don't tell me. Uh huh. We've got it. Just reload and go on yeah. safe. Was it? Well done. Oh, no, let me, it's just, well done. Well done. <sighs> well done. Well done, Michael. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ah. Ah. Two good shots, huh? What the? Uh, what did I hit at the first one? Ah. Right, right on the money. That. Yeah. That broke the shoulder. Mm -hmm. You see how the stripes don't go all the way down the belly? Mm -hmm. The mountain zebra has got a brown face, it's got a dewlap, and uh, the stripes go all the way down to the feet. Look at that. And then you hit him this side, yeah? Somewhere, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at that. Exactly where you were aiming, huh? Yeah. There we go. What's going on, Uncle Johnny? Michael, what do you got here today? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Look at the dust, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. A mountain zebra. Mountain zebra. Yeah. Mountain Hartzell zebra. A, a, a Hartman? Mountain, ha Hartman? Mountain zebra. Mountain zebra. Yeah. Okay, Hartman. Yeah. You get them in Namibia and in South Africa. Only. Only two countries, yeah. That's okay. it. And um, yeah, we had a good stalk, huh? Yes. Giselle was with us there on the stalk. <laughs> and we, we, when we were just about to shoot, we brought it to the front so you could actually see. Got you on the sticks. The wind has been blowing all day and it was coming from left to right, but you were on the sticks. And when I whistled, the zebra stopped and looked and you took a perfect shot. About 250, right on the shoulder. Broke the shoulder, turned, went, stood a little bit. As it turned like that, you gave it another shot right on, right on the money, right here on the opposite shoulder. And down it went. And it's an old fighter. You can see how it's been fighting there. It bite marks. Yeah, and, old uh, part of right great, here. great one to take. Yeah. And thank you very, very much for that as well, Michel. Uh, we still got a good couple of hours of light left. And let's get out there and see what other, what other trouble we can cause. <laughs> Kudu. Kudu. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thank you.
wird. Dafür wird er nicht im Gut. I think that first shot is it's an, an, an inch, maybe maybe an, maybe two inches too low, a little bit. It just broke that front shoulder. But the most important thing with the wildebeest is we got him, huh? Yeah. Hey Miguel, I'm telling you these things. Increíble, este animal la fortaleza. Well done. Son super aguantadores. Cuatro chingazos para tumbarlo con 308 150 granos expansivos. Cuatro, apenas así. Yo. Johnny. It's a bull, huh? <laughs> buffalo. Wow. Poor man's buffalo. Look here. Look at how big and old he is, huh? Another fine morning, Miguel. And uh, lots of kudu bulls this morning, eh? That we saw. Yeah. Uh, lots of gemsbuck and yeah. some, lots of springbuck and sable and and yeah and then Maria spotted this big wildebeest bull standing out there all by himself. We put a stalk on and unfortunately he stood facing us completely frontal. Even his back legs were right you in front of You cannot see his back legs. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. it. He was exactly frontal. And we waited about 10 minutes like that and then he snorted and then he just happened to take a step to the left. And you could see that front right shoulder, Boom. Dip, hit him. Uh, shot is just a little bit low, but enough to break the shoulder. And uh, yeah, we did a little bit of a follow up on him and, uh, and you got him down, a really great shot. Um, and uh, a beautiful bull. You can see he's got really nice yeah. wide horns, nice big old bull, all lone, a lone bull. Um, it's known as the blue wildebeest. Okay, we get two different kinds in South Africa. We get the blue and the black wildebeest. Now the black wildebeest is also known as the white-tailed gnu. Okay. Gnu, and they they only occur in South Africa. They are indigenous to South Africa. Is Where's, this bigger than the? This is bigger. Yeah, much bigger. Okay. Much bigger in body. And the blue wildebeest has got a nice black tail, uh -huh. and his horns come out like a buffalo, whereas the black wildebeest the horns go forward like that. Okay. Also gets the name uh, brindled gnu because of the brindled stripes. You yeah, see that? Those yeah. Stripes, yep. You can see the brindled stripes there. Uh, very, very tough. Very, very tough animal. Incredible. Yeah. And and that's why he gets the name the poor man's buffalo, huh? Um, but you did good. It's still nice and early. Uh, we've got the recovery vehicle coming to fetch it. We're very far away from camp this morning. Uh, but you did good. And Thanks. well done. Well and done. Thank, it is an absolutely thank you and thank you. Everybody, you're welcome, Michael. That's great, and I'm sure Martin got it on for you that you can treasure this hunt for the rest of your life. Yeah. But yeah, it's our uh, third day, and I think we still got another three days to go. But this is a fantastic bull, and congratulations, sir. Well done. Thank you, Johnny. Well, we're out here in the bush. Uh, you know, I get a bit, of, a little bit long in the tooth, but <laughs> especially around about lunchtime, you know, you get hungry now. Yeah, you know? I can and, see uh, that. Yeah. Hey, Rich, what do you think's happening out there, boy? <laughs> yeah. you keep, your eyes, keep your eyes going there. Eh? Sure. Look, keep careful looking for kudu. <laughs> and uh, take your camera, yeah. please. Yeah, what's the story now? Yeah, yeah, what's the story now? Why? 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 Why take it off? <laughs> um, what's happening, Michael? You want a peppermint? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I've got a peppermint for you. <laughs> Here you go. You ready? 
Miguel, you must just remember with Kudu, huh? if we're driving along like this and we, and we spot one, we're going to have to make a plan to see, we might drive past, whatever, but when we go to do the stalk on a Kudu, those big ears and those eyes, it's one of those stalks where we go, you stay right by me, and we just go slowly, 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 and when you when we get the stick set up, when you as soon as you can get yourself set up and that cross is on him, shoot him, if they don't stand around long. what happened some of the rangers they came past this water point you see there see the windmill yeah and they, they saw that water buck the one that we that we wounded yesterday i think it is okay it's it's, it's limping and it was drinking some water there now and i still have it visual the wind is good for us we're going to sneak in like us and see if it's him what water buck is, is there any way you can be sure. Yeah, he's got the right I will one. see. I know his horns. What his horns look like? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to shoot another one. No, 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 not at all. Sometimes they do fight and they stick each other with the horn and they injure each other. But if he's limping on this left side and I recognize his horns, I'll tell you shoot. Okay. You load it on safe. Okay. We got a, a message from the guys, from the rangers, to say that they seen a water bug. It looked like he was limping with some females here at this water point. So we put a big, uh, yeah, we put a big stalk on here. We came all the way from the other side, got here, and we've just seen those cows going there over that open area. We've just seen them walking in there, and the bull came from the back. Um, what I saw doesn't look like him because that that bull there looks like he's doing this, you know, the horns. And the one that we shot, those horns go like that. Comes in like that. But we just send Kheri back to fetch the vehicle. And we'll take a drive in here and we'll see. Just to be 100% sure. I just saw it walking through that gap right at the back there now. Mm -hmm.
Want me to chew it? I think he's gonna die. He's dying. Yeah, he's in the lungs. He's dying, yeah. I mean, he went straight down, huh? Straight down the first That's shot. That's what I like. Me too. Fuck. Okay, let's go and have a look. Why not? Yeah, we looked at a lot of kudu, huh? <laughs> Well done, Michele. Really. Perfect. Oh. Well done. Well done. Well, Michele, what a great end to another third, actually our third hunting day, huh? Yeah. Uh, and it's the second of your spiral horn animal. This is a? Kudu. Kudu. Well done. And your first spiral horn was a? Eland. Eland. Well done, sir. And that is the largest of the antelope and yo, the eland was and this one and we've got the nyala and the bushbuck, those are the four. But the fantastic. Four, the four spirals. The four spiral in South Africa, okay. yes sir. And um, we, we rounded off the day with a fantastic kudu and we started off the day with a really huge wildebeest. Um, and not half an hour ago, an hour ago, we had a fantastic sighting of uh, four buffalo bulls. Oh, yeah. oh. And I'm sure Martin got that on fantastic on the video as well oh, for us there. I love when they trade like, <laughs> I'm going to charge. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <coughs> yeah, we spotted these kudu bulls and um, at a distance and you looked as well. And I looked and you said to me, Johnny, the one on the right. And, and I said, yes, Michael, you know, and we put a stalk on. And we had to hold up, the one was looking at us like that and it wasn't too sure what we were there and then it's, and they started walking out. Yes. Put the sticks up and I gave a whistle and they stopped and boom, boom, one shot kill, down again. <laughs> yeah, Michael, well done, Buona. Well, well done. Very, very good. Congratulations there, eh? Yeah. Thank good. you, Johnny. Thank you, Michael. Thanks to everybody, the team. Okay? A, the A-team. A-team. <laughs> A-team. A-team. I'm and just thanks. part of the team. But and yeah, it's been fantastic, you know, with the, all the shots on, on the video for African Sun Productions there. Martin, Martin Mula. Martin Mula. Mula. Martin Mula. Martin. Martin Mula, African Sun Productions. Yeah. Great, great shots. Great, great service. And great, great friend. Exactly. The most important thing for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Can you remember when he showed us that photograph of the clouds, the photo that he took of the clouds this afternoon? Yes. Huh, Michael? Hello. I am happy today. That's good. Why? Because I get my kudo. Congrats. <laughs> 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 Be careful. <laughs> we uh, just want to uh, say thank you very, very much to Chantel and to Nini and to Nora here yeah, for the wonderful time that we've of had course. here by them. Thank you. And for looking after all the lovely meal that we've got here yeah, and uh, doing the laundry and the ice and everything. It's uh, it's a it's a it's a 24-hour job, really. I know that. And so, so let's give everybody a round of applause here for... Thank you. We're happy for you. We're happy for you. Thank you. Tonight you're having trout with spinach and mascarpone cheese pie. Wow. With some fresh trout in the middle. Yo. The trout was actually caught when the river comes down in flood, yeah, the Khamakara. And we, then we, we catch the tuna fish there and the, and the trout there and we, yeah. And, yeah, thanks for telling, very nice. And um, I see we have some Christmas crackers as well to celebrate the, the festive season. Wow. 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 Oh, good. Like a mask. Like, like, yeah. Like. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big thing. Oh, you can just use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. 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 Oh, my gosh. And I love chocolates. Wow. Okay. Oh, thank you. 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 Oh,
Oh, this is um, this is wait, this is a mug. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <For everyone. laughs> Well, this is the second to the last day of hunting. We got all the pieces I've been looking for. Now it's a different plan. Today we're looking for Warhawk and Impala, maybe. Beautiful, beautiful experience. Este es el, el penúltimo día de cacería. Vamos por el Warhawk, el Pumba y el Impala. Ha sido una experiencia increíble uh, con mi hija y estoy súper contento. Gracias a, a todo el equipo, desde Scooby, the tracker, to the lady who cleaned the dishes. Everybody is excellent people. I consider everybody friends from now on. Mikel, uh, yeah, we, we're going to give it a go. Uh, we got all the guys and uh, Baris is busy explaining. This is the last time where we saw that water bug come in. Yeah. Um, and myself and Rich, we did quite a big walk here. And you guys also were here and Baris went in this direction. But there's quite a lot of thick patches here that we couldn't check, check all of them. So uh, we're going to get the guys all and put them in a nice long line about 30 meters apart yeah. and the guys are going to do a little bit of a drive here. You never know, he might just still be laying up here, hiding here. Or um, even dead. Or even dead, exactly. So we'll give it a go and then we'll see. Hopefully go, we get lucky. Okay. Ik wil net zeggen, Afrikaans, jullie mannen, dank je. Thank you for everything. Thank you for trying today. Uh, ons het probeer, uh, waterbak wounded and trying to get it. Misschien hulle daar gevrek of hulle opspring, jump up and run away. We can get another shot at it. But thank you for trying. We really appreciate it and we gave the animal all the respect we can to see if we can, if we can locate it. Um, Waar is Abraham? Oh, dat is Abraham. En yesterday, baie dankie, that one, that one waterbuck that you saw with the limping leg, that die been wat het gebreek, nie, nie gebreek nie, maar they were fighting. Uh, he was still with the cows, but that was good, very good spotting. Um, and when we go away, please guys, uh, if you can just kijk mooi, misschien jullie zien die fools, die, die vultures, en hulle kan vir ons wees waar die bokke leer daar, so that uh, Michael can get his horns. Okay, but yeah, thank you very much. Thanks guys. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Everybody. This is good for killing frogs. Okay, okay, yeah. You, you, you fold it down and you hit it on the head. Probably like that. Yeah. <laughs> Smell your fingers now? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We yeah, slept we'll we'll together. Don't touch me. Is that fool? You can shoot him. Is that the right one? Sure. Absolutely shoot him. Take your time. Sure is the right one. Yeah. Shot. It's okay, watch out, watch the dog. Yeah. It's okay, you've got him, not worry, don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot, that's fine. It's okay, don't worry, the bullet is a good I know, shot. I know, I know, I know.
Hold on. What, what, what I've been saying, better be lucky. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, it's also the persevering, huh? Well done. Thank you. Good spotting. Thank you. you saw it. Jerry. Yeah, good yeah. Jerry. That's Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> well done, boys. Well done, well sir. Done. Okay. Thank you. That's the, the the last bit of respect that we can okay. give this animal is to find him. Eh? When, it, when it's wounded like that, guys, even yourself, eh? when it's any animal wounded like that, from the vehicle, yeah. anywhere, you, you put him down. Scooby! Salte, cabrón! El waterbag corrió hacia el agua. Y al escubo y le valió madre, él lo siguió hasta aquí. Uh, Miguel, two days ago, around about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. About 48 hours ago, it's yeah. like more or less, yeah. We went for a, a nice walk and we were busy walking and stalking along into the wind. And uh, we came over the little ridge like that and I looked and I, I saw this waterbug bull laying down there. Yeah. Pointed him out to you. And uh, we got the shooting sticks up and he jumped up and he was standing looking. He wasn't too sure what we were. And unfortunately, the shot hit him just on this side of the shoulder. Another two inches this side, it would have been a done story. Um, and yes, for actually 48 hours every afternoon, every morning, we went past the same area to search, to search, to see if we could locate the water buck. And uh, no luck. This morning we got up early, we got all the guys together, and uh, we did two drives. We walked to the front and then we walked to the side and uh, located other water buck and other stuff jumped up in front of us but just not the wounded one yep and uh, we said goodbye to the guys there and thank you for their help and everything and we we didn't even drive half a kilometer and we went past this pan here and we were looking at some sable when Harry said look here's the water buck laying and we couldn't believe our luck. Here he was. He was hiding underneath that same camel thorn tree there. Yeah. And he had his head down. We could see it was the wounded one. We recognized the horns. And you put the coup de gras shot into him. And the next thing, Mikel or Scooby was out there. And him and Scooby were having a bit of a fight at the back of the in the back <laughs> of these bushes here. And the next minute Scooby took off and this water buck, he decided he's also gonna take off and he he went for the water. And that's a characteristic of a water buck. If it's injured or if it's been pursued by lions or whatever, the first thing he does is he runs for the water. Is that why they have the exactly. name for yeah. water buck? Water buck, exactly. Okay, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Most of the time they're also feeding around water points, rivers and, and, and around dams. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I think Martin got that fantastic on there as well with him going into the water and Scooby behind him. Um, and it's just a, an amazing story and we, we, we really, really you know, glad that we've actually managed to get him and put him down and uh, end his suffering. And uh, uh, we washed him really great. It's funny, we also just happened to have a pump right here, a well that we've started the pump and we washed the water back, got all the mud off of him. But yeah, thank you for, per you know, hanging in there with us and for persevering. And uh, it most certainly paid off, Michael. Uh, again and again and again. Thank you, Tanky, everybody. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Jerry Sprinkler, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Good spotting. <laughs> Good spot. Excellent spotting. Yeah.
Well, like they, uh, like they said, this is a rainy season, Miguel. And if I could just take your glasses off. <laughs> I, I know that, Johnny. You know, you know that. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. Well, well, welcome I, to sunny South Africa. I know that. Look at <laughs> yeah. Now, a good pH would have given his client his raincoat. <laughs> but that, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> Yeah. Are you going to sit down here now? Yeah, these chairs also weigh 5,000 pounds. <laughs> it's too far. Look at that rain there. I think it was head in that direction, Rich, where there's no rain. But, um, Miguel, we're going to go. There, remember where we saw those big impala rams the other day? Yeah. We're going to go search around some water points there. And, uh, Giselle, it's nice to have you back again. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh boy. <laughs> and, uh, keep them peeled, huh? <laughs> keep them peeled for big Fako, Fakushero, and impala. There you go, Michelle. Yeah, Giselle, it's the, uh, the end of our fourth day. The sun is going down now, beautiful. The wind picked up a bit. There's quite a bit of clouds around, quite a bit of rain. It's a little bit chilly now. You can actually feel that, that really cold front over there where it's, uh, where it's been raining this afternoon. Can you translate uh, yourself, please? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Danny. She do not translate. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, no, we're gonna we're gonna make our way back to camp now. Hoy tenemos ir al campo. Yeah, and al uh, campamento. Al campamento. Yeah. And we're gonna make a nice fire there, campfire, and have a couple of drinks, and some cocktails y there, and some unos snacks, y and unas and, uh, yeah, and just have a nice evening. But. Congratulations no, no, today. Sounds good. We've got, we got the water back end. and it's been a fantastic day. And glad you came with you freezing, huh? You don't have the cold. All right. So cheers. Thank you, Mart. I'm getting used to this and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do when I get back home.
That's my main question. <laughs> <laughs> Jalapeno peppers. Yeah, you take, uh, the, it. Uh -huh. take the inside out, put some cream cheese in it, fill it with cream oh, cheese. Okay. Yeah, I know. And then is, yeah. you wrap it with yeah. bacon yeah. around. Uh -huh. And Perfect. then the other one is sheep tails. Sheep tails? Yeah, sheep tails. Yeah. That's, a, uh, that's a South African. I haven't tried. But it's very, very nice. No, yeah, but being uh, <laughs> tail, whole tail. If you look at me, you can see that's the good stuff. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Maya. Yeah. I'm tell you what okay, it is. so we're doing the starters a bit different tonight. I'm mm. not going to plate it, but this is lamb tails. Whoa. Wow. Mm. And these are jalapenos, unfortunately not fresh ones, Miguel. <laughs> but it's jalapenos with cream cheese and bacon. Oh, that's And okay. these are just red peppers. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, For you, wow. Bon appetit. Can I guess, please? <laughs> bon appetit. Okay, let's move down there. Wow, We're going to have a seat wow, there. Wow. Michele? Okay. Escuchen ustedes eh, hablando a la gente entre ellos. Uh, no es ni inglés ni español. Es Afrikaans. Hasta ahorita, wow. uno de los idiomas más difíciles de entender de todos. Afrikaans. Mm. Mm. Colitas de borrego. Told you. Marinadas, no sé con qué, y asadas. Wow. No manches. Mm. No manches. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, beef kebabs with lamb loin chops. Oh. Wow. And then over there, we call it rooster cook. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's bread that, that Nini and Nora prepared on the fire. So what, what's the name? Roesterkoek. Roesterkoek. Yeah. yeah. That's In what other we words, call what, it. What Chantel's trying to say to you, Michael, is if you don't die from it, you, you'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> no, you're going to love it. They baked it just now. Sometime yeah. like, uh, you, 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 you may uh, cook this uh, in the bushes when you're... Yeah. Cooking. Good. <laughs> okay, good. It's really good. Okay, now we know which way the wind is going. <laughs> All right, don't worry. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> yeah. it didn't, I didn't feel like it. I thought it was going to be, yeah, but anyway, that's good. Looks like a beautiful day today, Miguel. Yes. And uh, Last day of hunting. Last day of hunting, yeah. I don't want any tears, huh? No tears when you say goodbye. <laughs> You're going to probably cry from happiness. <laughs> Come on, I'm pleased you, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, I can see already. But uh, yo, we had lots of weather here last yesterday evening, and it was actually pretty cold. Eh? That one rain cloud that went through here it was very, very cool. Brought the wind in, and it cooled things down. But it's a perfect day. And uh, on the way back this morning to come to us to come and pick us up at the camp, Richard and Harry they spotted some nice impala rams. We're gonna just go and check that area, see what we can find there. But Sounds great. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Yeah. This arm of mine has got longer since I've met you. You know where you. Never mind. <laughs>
Good him. One on the left. Okay. <coughs> Run away. That's good. That shot angled in. This is what? That was a hell of a shot. That, that shot there is what's called shooting your target. The way it was like it, you shot him in front of the back leg, like that, huh? And that angle of the bullet. I don't think he's gonna go too yeah, far. Yeah, but there. why didn't go down? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a, yeah. that's a very, very nice ram. Beautiful, beautiful ram. A whole bunch of bachelor herd of rams there. And a good stalk. Good, yeah. good stalk. Yeah. Uh, después de una semana, Ricardo vio por primera vez un impala. After a week, Ricardo spot for the first time an impala. <laughs> 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 no, no es cierto. Ricardo es un excelente spotter. Spotter uh, es uh, la gente que... When is awake. <laughs> la gente que, que ve al, al animal por primera vez. Y Ricardo los ve a dos kilómetros en binoculares. Uh, finalmente... Tuvimos oportunidad de tiro. Uh, sigo impresionado de la resistencia de todos los animales de África. Uh, tú lo puedes ver pequeño. Dos tiros bien dados. Bueno, no, no, no bien dados, pero de 308. Es lo que tomó para... Este animalito, impala. Este es un bonito impala. Uh, ¿Qué más puedo decir? Ya no más falta el pumba. Espero que hoy por la tarde nos lo presenten. There's a water hole. Let's go like this. We go around and come in a little bit. Come. Harry, we must watch you everywhere you were. You must check this side here. Yeah? Johnny te va a poner el tripié para que tú tires. Ajá. Entonces, antes de apretar el gatillo y todo, necesitas ver 
la cruz, ver la roca, poner la cruz en el centro de la roca. No pongas el dedo hasta que vayas a disparar. Okay. Okay. Pero siempre, no, no arriba ni abajo, en el no. puro centro. Si no estás segura y se te cabe el aire, vuelves a respirar otra vez. Okay. Let, let it go. And now you explain her okay. in English. Giselle, uh -huh. whatever your precious dad told you, now you forget completely about everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. Your dad's advice was very good, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just show you something now, okay? okay. Over here. All right. So you never fired a rifle before. You fired shotgun, huh? Shotgun and twenty-two. That's all. Shotgun and twenty-two. Okay. Well, you see. All right. Let's go this way. Come with me. Whenever you use a rest, you must never put the barrel on the rest like that. Otherwise, you're going to, it's going to flick the barrel and you're going to shoot and miss. You always put the stock, the stock on the rest so that the barrel is free floating, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. But just come and stand here. I think it might be a little bit too high for you. Mm -hmm. Hold the rifle there. Take that hand. Exactly like that. Good. Mm -hmm. It's too high for you, huh? Um, you must put the rifle in your shoulder uh -huh. like this. Okay. Let me just take it down a little bit. Hang on one second. Let me just do that. And a little bit out like this for you. Don't worry, we'll get the rifle completely set. How does that feel? Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I don't want you to lean back. I want you to lean into the rifle. So put that, that, put that leg forward, yes. Put the crosses on the rock, and when you see the crosses on the rock, squeeze the trigger and let it Is go. Is it loaded now? No, it's not loaded now. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay, so now I'm going to load it for you. Okay? And now you're going to shoot the rock, okay? Make sure you hit the rock. Good. You squeezed <laughs> off very well. You squeezed off very, very well. Right, now I'm going to load it. Okay, mind your finger there. Okay, mind your finger away from the trigger. Yeah, okay. Now just remember, keep your finger away from the trigger because it's loaded, ready to go. Shot. Whoa. Beautiful. That was good. That's good, huh? You yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. look at that. Now with that silencer, it doesn't really make a ball. No. And and it absorbs the recoil, so you don't get a big recoil. I'm gonna Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you that, and you're gonna you smell the gunpowder? Okay. Smell? Smell the gunpowder there? Now you keep that, you could put it in your suitcase. Okay, and you can even write the date there because that's the first time you shot. This is a 308 caliber. Okay. Flick it down. That's the safety there. Safety. That's it. Right, now it's ready to shoot, huh? Okay. Okay, watch there. Keep your finger away from the trigger. Find the target. Right, go look through the scope. Put the crosses on the target. Okay, then squeeze the trigger. Concentrate on the crosses being on the target and squeeze the trigger. That's good. Get the crosses on the target. Shot. You shot it in half. Did I? <laughs> you did. Well done. Let's go and have a look. Come. If you can shoot like that from that distance, that's about a hundred yards. We can easily go hunting. Then I'll just show you, show you the anatomy of an animal mm -hmm. and how it stands and where to shoot it in the heart and the lungs. Mm -hmm. But well done. Very good shooting. Well done, Gisele, really. At the going down of the African sun on your last evening, yeah? Yeah. You and Gisele, um, we just want to uh, wish you a safe journey home. And uh, we look forward to having you back the next time. Hopefully it's uh, sooner than later. Um, we've had a fantastic hunt. It's been a pleasure hunting with you and Gisele, both of you. Um, for your first time, for your first African experience yeah. with hunting. Yes. Um, you shot extremely well. You've hunted Me? fair chase. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> for someone that hasn't the fi fired a rifle in about five years, eh? You said uh, about, about, about five years there? Five years, I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway. But uh, you did really, really well, Miguel. And, uh, Thank you. Gracias. We have lots of great memories together with Marius here yeah, and with Jerry and also with uh, 
<laughs> Martin, yeah, behind the camera there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, but I promise you, you will see. We've you've got you've got the most fantastic uh, um, safari video coming from African Sun Productions from Martin, and a lot of great photographs, um, a lot of treasured memories that we'll be able to share for the rest of your life. You know. That's exactly what I was looking for when I talked to Martin about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but yes, we just uh, want to say thank you to Richie, you know, the, all the great driving that Come he's on. done. Come out there, Richie, what are you doing there? Thank you, Ricardo, vente para acá, cabrón. No, I'm not going to need the profession. And uh, Ricardo is a big part of the team, and of course, um, Chantel there, and Nini, and Nora, um, and our Polky looking after the camp, and looking after the cooking, and the whole the whole thing, it's been fantastic. We've... Uh, uh, we've you're leaving behind uh, oh. Nina uh, and Scooby. I, I, was, I was getting there actually, but thank you for reminding me. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. I already have, yeah, 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 yeah. I already have a yeah. South African girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, Michel, it's uh, yeah, we just uh, yeah, no, 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 Michel, yeah. this Mi is not formal now. Now we're friends, yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miguel, we Miguel, yeah, <laughs> Miguel, no way, Miguel, Miguel, yeah, oh, Miguel, <laughs> yes, but anyway, tomorrow you leave us and you're on your way to Cape Town. Uh, we hope you're going to enjoy yourself there, really, you know, get to relax and have some nice wine tasting and get to see another part of the country uh, before you head back home. And we will most certainly be in touch and uh, hopefully, like I said, let's, have, let's you know, get you back next year. Yes, um, yes. And yeah, Raquel, thank yes, you very yes. much. It's been a pleasure hunting with you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you too? <laughs> very, very nice. Gazelle, look after your dad. Always have the respect that you have. You're a wonderful young lady, beautiful inside and out. Um, and you had your first experience of hunting a little bit this afternoon with, you know, shooting at the, at the rock. Next time we speak with Martin, we'll have you out in the bush. And I'm sure that your dad will be very, very proud of you. Yeah. The first day that we put a little bit of animal that you hunted fair chase on your face. Yeah. Yeah. But Michel, thank you. Once again, sir, again. take care. Michel, and look after yourself. Mari, thank you very much. Jerry, guys. You all and what's your name again? Everybody, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Nice In Africans, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.